<laughs> I am super excited to welcome you to my channel, especially if this is the first time you are seeing this face. If you are my returning subscriber, thank you so much. Today we have a challenging geometrical question to solve and i would like you to sit put because you are going to enjoy the ride okay so the question says we should find the radius of this semicircle okay please pardon my drawing this is meant to be a triangle it's not drawn to scale of sides 13 15 and 14 and this is a semicircle supposed to be a semicircle so assuming this is a semicircle we are asked to find the radius of this semicircle now first i want us to remember this uh, theorem this theorem that states that i mean circle theorem the circle theorem states that in a circle of center zero okay and a tangent let's call this tangent a b if you draw a straight line from the center of the circle to touch the tangent at its point of contact with the circle, okay? Its point of contact with the circle, all right? Then a right angle is formed here. Yes, a right angle is formed between the line and the tangent. Normally, any line you draw from the center of the circle to touch the circumference is a radius. So, definitely this is a radius. So, between the radius and the tangent, a 90 degrees is formed. Now, let's take it to this particular drawing. When you look at this drawing, you are going to notice that we have a tangent here. And we have another tangent here. So... It means that if we draw a straight line from this center of the circle, supposed center of the circle, to this point of contact, we form 90 degrees. So let's do that. So we have 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here as well. Now, similarly, if we draw from center to this tangent as well, the point of contact, another 90 degrees is formed. All right, now let us leave it at that and try to find the area of this triangle. Now, the area of the triangle is equal to the square root of S bracket S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Okay, now if you, now, if you look at this, you will notice what is it? What is it? She didn't show what what is in the domain one. Then you go remove one. I'm not going to bring all of them. Oh, yeah, wait up here. Corners you cannot open it now. You want to open it and bring it out. I want to open it and bring it out. Oh, when bring it out because I need it. S is equal to the perimeter of this triangle divided by two. Okay. Now remember that perimeter of any uh, plane figure is the distance around the figure all right now the distance around this shape is what 13 plus 15 plus 14 divided by 2 so it means that s is equal to 13 plus 15 is 28 28 plus 14 is 30 is 42 okay so we have 42 divided by 2 which is equal to 21 now let us solve the area of this triangle before that let me explain what a is what small b is and what small c is 
click the subscription button turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this face and this amazing channel so that you don't miss out on our very on our next videos all right give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video at your convenience always tune in there must be something new to watch by the special grace of god okay thank you very much now look at what we have here i said let me explain what a b and c are in a triangle of a b c this side facing this angle is the small a this side facing this b is the small b and this side facing this c is the small c so that is where a b c comes from come from all right now let's go ahead and find the perimeter sorry i'll find the area so that means that the area then should be the square root of 21 bracket 21 minus now our a is 14 the side facing our a right bracket 21 minus our b is this 15 Bracket 21 minus and C is 13. So area is equal to the square root of 21 multiplied by 21 minus 14 will give us 7. 21 minus 15 will give us 6. 21 minus 13 will give us 8. Now, let's continue. Have you given us a thumbs up yet? If not, please do that if you are actually enjoying this video. Now, drop your comments so that we will be able to know how you feel about what we are doing. Okay? We are open to correction. We are open to learn. All right? Thank you very much. So, our uh, A is equal to the square root of 21 multiplied by, now 6 times 8 is 48. So, 48 times 7, 7 times 8 will give us 56, right? So, we have 6 carry 5, 7 times 4 is 28, and 28 plus 5 is 33 right so we have three three six now area is the square root of three three six times 21 so let's multiply this by 21 two times one times six is six one times three is three one times three is three two times six is twelve 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, 7 as well. So we have 6, we have 5. I hope you can still see this. We have 10 carry 1, we have 8. So we have square root of 80, 56. Don't panic. Yes, I know you'll be like, how do I find this square root? I'm going to drop an end screen here or anything to show you a video of the trick i'm going to use to find the value of a right now now square root of any four digit number can be found this way not only four digit number even three digit number and any number can be found using this trick the first thing we need to note is the last two digits the last digit of the number now the last digit of this number is six okay so what sign what squared will give me a number that ends with six okay so we have four squared we give me 16 16 ends with six also six squared we give me 36 36 ends with six that is between one and ten these are the two numbers that if i square them i'll get a number that ends with six what this tells me is that the answer to this question will end with either four or six is going to end with either four or six but i'm not going to worry about it because i'll take care of that so my answer will end with either four or six now i'll cancel the last two digits and i'll focus on the next number 
Now I have 80. What number squared? We give me a number that is close to 80, but not more than 80. The closest one is should be 8, because 8 times 8 is 64. But 9 times 9 is 81. So 81 is bigger than 80. So it's going to be definitely going to be 8. But the question now is, is it 84 or is it 86? How do we know that? Now, after 8, we have 9. After 8, we have 9. Now, 8 times 9 will give us 72, right? Now, 72, we need to compare 72 and 80. 72 and 80. Notice that 72 is less than 80. 72 is less than 80. So that means we are going to take the lesser number. Okay? So it means that square root of 8056 is equal to 84. You can press your calculator. Like I said, I'm going to drop the link, or not the link, the end screen or card here so that you'll be able to go and learn that from my video now back to what we are doing so we have found the square root of 8056 as 84 so we move on so it means that the area of this triangle is 84 so i'm going to clean everything we have found the area all right area is 84 now what am i doing with the area the area of triangle a b c is equal to 84 square centimeters or meter squared. I don't know the unit. Now, if we decide to share this triangle into two from the midpoint of this circle, so if we decide to drop a straight line, okay, this is it. Now, let's call this place O, center O, this point O. Now, we have two triangles, triangle A, O, B, and triangle B, O, C. So, the area of this triangle, A, B, C, will be equal to the sum of the area of triangle A, O, B, and triangle B, O, C. So, area of the C triangle, which is 84, will be equal to area of triangle A, O, B, plus area of triangle B, O, C. B, O, C. Now, remember that another way of finding the area of a triangle is half base times height. Okay? Now, area is equal to half base times height. So, we have 84 is equal to, for triangle A, O, B. A, O, B. Okay? It's going to be half times the base of A, O, B is 13, right? 13. And the height... The height is the radius of this circle. Remember that whenever you draw a line from the center of the circle to touch the circumference, you have formed the radius. So this is radius, this is radius. So we have R. Then plus, fangu B, O, C. B, O, C. Our area is half base times height. And the base this time is what? 14 times the height. This is supposed to be a straight line touching this at the point of contact. So this is definitely the height of triangle BOC, all right? So it's also the radius of the circle. All right. So we have 84 is equal to, well, let's factorize half out. So 13 times R, 13 R. 14 times R, 14 R. So 84 is equal to half bracket. 13R plus 14R will give you 27R. So 84 is equal to 27R divided by 2 will give us 13.5R, right? Yes. Now, that means that our R is 84 divided by 13.5. So this is where we are. That 84 is equal to 13.5 R. Now let's divide by 13.5. Okay. Now 84 divided by 13.5 will give us 6.22 
recurring okay centimeters is equal to r so this becomes the radius of this circle thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye